I'm the man, Jerry, on Jerry's Kitchen Show. We're here to do one of my favorites today. Of course, they're all my favorites. Meatloaf. Every once in a while I go to make a meatloaf and doggone it, I don't have any eggs for an egg binder. Normally when you make a meatloaf, you'll, you'll put some eggs in it to hold the meatloaf together. Today we're going to show you a different way and you may really like it. We'll show you how it's done. Come on in. Okay, what we're going to start with, we're going to start with the sauce. Now this particular sauce we use, we put over the meatloaf. You can put it over the meatloaf. I even mix a little bit in the meatloaf. So what we're going to start out with, we've got a half a cup of ketchup. We've got a half a cup of brown sugar in the cup. Two tablespoons of soy sauce and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're simply going to mix it up. Now this is a great sauce. It's a great barbecue sauce for a quick easy barbecue sauce. If all of a sudden you're barbecuing and you forgot to pick up the sauce, it's a great barbecue sauce, uh, sauce, especially for hamburger, any type of beef. Boy, it's a great barbecue sauce. And man, it's, it's delicious. Okay, now we'll start on the meatloaf. Pretty simple to make. It's pretty standard, except for a few changes. Let's see if it sounds a little bit familiar. We've got two pounds of hamburger. We're going to start out with We've got half a cup of breadcrumbs. We've got a half an onion. We've got about a quarter of a cup of that, that barbecue sauce that we made just a little bit earlier. Oh, that stuff's delicious. A half a cup of spaghetti sauce. I know that sounds strange, but boy, is it good. About a, oh, a half of a small bell pepper or about a quarter of a bigger bell pepper. And this is our binder. A half a cup of cheese. Now I'm using mozzarella cheese today because I like mozzarella cheese and there's only one way to do this get your hands in there and start mixing Okay, now what we're going to do is transfer the hamburger into a, a bacon sheet. There's no easy way to do it. You just kind of get it, get it in there. Now we're going to put some of that wonderful sauce that we made a little bit earlier right over the top now when we get through with this we're going to have the the oven preheated about 375 degrees 350 375 degrees and we're going to let it cook um, 45 minutes to an hour love that stuff okay in the oven she goes and we'll be back when she's done so there it is it's been in the oven just a little bit over an hour when you go to pull it out of the oven you stick a toothpick in it and pull it out 
if you feel a little bit of resistance it's done if the toothpick goes in real easy and comes out easy it's not done yet you have to put it back in for another few minutes Mm. That's wonderful. I wish you could smell this and I wish you could taste it. It's absolutely wonderful. Until next time, thank you very much.